Bella Booze and welcome back to Belloween. The information for today's story is now on screen. Growing up, I always knew my brother was different. I wasn't supposed to know, but I did. It wasn't so much a secret as it was a deep family shame. My parents refused to acknowledge it and as a result, he never received the help he so desperately needed. But the full extent of his deviancy didn't become apparent until his early teens, a secret of which I've kept from everyone, even my brother. If he knew that I knew, I'm not sure what would happen. It was an accident. That's how it all began. We were playing around in my mom's study and I knocked over one of her many porcelain figures. A cute Dalmatian puppy, the fragile thing breaking into dozens of unrecognizable pieces as it hit the hardwood floor. My brother stared at the broken mess for minutes before mom stormed in and started yelling. My brother didn't flinch though, just stood in silence as she cleaned up his eyes never leaving the ominous shards. A few days later, our neighbor, Mrs. Zelensky, reported her dog, Maya, missing. She was a precious Dalmatian puppy, a little over a year old. They found pieces of her for days, hacked violently into fleshy bits. A heinous act of pure cruelty, they called it. And I immediately knew it was my brother. I suppose I still wanted to test my hypothesis though. So a week later, I accidentally broke another figurine, this time depicting a plump little boy. I ignored my mom's scolding, keeping my gaze locked on my brother. He didn't move an inch, just stared at the headless figurine on the floor. My mom locked the study after that incident. A few days later, Billy O'Donnell disappeared. Ten years old, freckled, a bit on the heavy side. They found his body five days later. It took another two before they located his head. The expression frozen on his face was one of unimaginable pain and fear. I knew then for sure what my brother was, and I swore to myself to keep it secret. To keep him safe, I would become the help he always needed. He'd happen upon broken remains of porcelain figures all through his teenage years. A young, beautiful woman. A dapper, middle-aged man sporting a broad-brimmed hat. A frowny-faced old lady cradling a cat. A handsome fella in a sparkling red jacket, some turned up in tiny pieces. Others were never found. He can never know that I know, though. Know that I'm the one who breaks them. Know that I deliberately leave them where he can find them. Know that I paint the figurines myself. One to resemble the slutty cashier that kept flirting with my husband. One to resemble my pervert of a boss. One to resemble the horrid old hag that lets her cats on my property. The last one to resemble my cheating husband. Don't worry, they won't be missed. They're all just broken porcelain figurines now. <laughs>